In this lesson, we will examine some tips that we have not yet covered in this module, and we'll look at some very important tips that are worth repeating. Now, the most important tip of all is to make it a habit to engage in the passage, and at numerous times throughout the module, I have stressed this. The next tip is read GMAT-like material in your spare time. This will allow you to strengthen your reading comprehension skills, even when you're not studying with official materials. To help with this, you should seek out reading material that is similar to the passages found on the GMAT. Now, for science passages, the following provide great GMAT-like articles. For articles related to humanities and social sciences, check out these options. And for business passages, consider reading these materials. Another tip to consider is practice your note-taking skills regardless of what you're reading. So if you're reading a magazine, journal, or newspaper, practice summarizing each paragraph in fewer than 10 words, and when you're finished reading, see if you can create a concise summary of the main idea. Another way to strengthen your reading comprehension skills is to give your notes a one-day challenge. To do this, read a reading comprehension passage, and as you read, summarize each paragraph and identify the main idea. Be sure to record this on some scrap paper. Repeat these steps with five passages, but do not attempt any of the questions just yet. At this point, put your notes away. Then, after one full day, see if you can answer the questions using only your notes. Now, you probably won't be able to answer many of the details questions, but you should have some success with the general questions. Okay, the next tip is an important one worth repeating. You need not learn or comprehend or memorize every single piece of information in the passage. In fact, attempting to do so will only hurt your score. Remember, this test is mainly about the big picture. Now, an important component of the big picture is structure. So as you read a passage, be sure to note its structure by asking, what role does this sentence play? Another important tip is to use your noteboard. Now, some students feel that it's easier to keep information in their heads and that writing on the noteboard is a waste of time. The truth of the matter is that taking notes on the noteboard saves you time in the long run because it forces you to keep your summaries brief, which in turn helps you identify the structure and key elements of the passage. The next tip is to analyze your progress. In order to improve, you must be an active participant in the learning process. So, for example, after you've answered a series of questions, be sure to review all of the solutions, not just the solutions to the questions you answered incorrectly. Now, if you answered a question incorrectly, determine where your notes were lacking. Also, be sure to identify the types of questions that give you the most trouble and determine why you're having difficulty with them. Through this kind of careful analysis, your reading comprehension scores will improve. Finally, my last piece of advice is experiment, experiment, experiment. At the beginning of this module, I said that there is no one strategy that will be the best strategy for everyone, and the strategy that works best for you will depend on a wide range of factors. So try the strategy outlined in this module, but do not rule out other strategies. You may find that the best strategy for you happens to be a collection of several different approaches, but you won't know this unless you experiment.